Hello again. Do you remember this part? Now, after we are familiar with the sheet metal features, we will design it using the sheet metal features. Let's start with a new part. Then, let's start with a sketch on the top. Then, start with a circle. Then, another one. And now, draw another circle here. Set the diameter to 10 millimeters. And this distance to 59.5. And let's make this vertical. And now select circular pattern. Click here and select this point. And for the entities to pattern, I want to pattern this. And I want the number to be 6 items. Then hit OK. And now try to drag this and to place it here again. Now finish the sketch. And from the sheet metal tab, select base flange. Make sure to set the thickness to 4 mm, the K factor to 0.4, and the direction of the thickness to be downwards. Then hit OK. Now from Features, select Reference Geometry, Plane, and select this face, and set this to 36. And then create another one using this face, and let it be 59.5 Instead of the revolve feature as we did previously, now in the sheet metal environment we will use lofted bend. Select the first plane you created and start a sketch there and select convert entities and select this circle, then hit OK. And now draw a center line make it vertical, then select offset entities and set this to 0.1 millimeter and select this line. Then hit OK and make sure to turn it into a construction geometry. Finish the sketch and now start a sketch on the other plane and draw another circle and give it the following diameter and select convert entities and select these two lines make sure to turn them into construction geometry and select the trim entities and the trim this line here And now let's go back to the previous sketch and do the same. So edit sketch, trim entities, and we need to trim this part here. Now hide these two planes. Now select lofted bend. And here we have two types. Let's go with the formed one because it will give us a smoother surface. In this type, we take the flatten sheet and then we use a metal roller to create this shape. So after making sure the type is formed, select this circle and then select this one. The number of bends should be 2. Now select OK. And now we have a problem with this lofted bend. If you face this problem, the first thing you should think about is the gap we left. It may be very small. So now select Cancel. And let's go back to this sketch. Edit the sketch, and instead of 0.1 mm gap, let it be 1 mm. And since we used convert entities in the other sketch, it will be the same here. So now let's go to lofted bend, 
and make sure it's formed. Then select this sketch and this one. Let's double check the direction of the thickness. It's correct, and the thickness is 4 millimeters. Then hit OK. And now open this and let's flatten this part. So this is the main difference between the solid modeling features and the sheet metal features when it comes to design such a part. Now open this arrow next to the lofted bend and select the second sketch, then select base flange. And here for direction 1, this should be 30.5 and select override default parameters and set this to 3 millimeters. Let's double check the direction of the thickness and we need to flip it. So reverse direction and now it's correct and then hit OK. Now we can flatten this part too, then we can cut it to be manufactured. So here I think I made a mistake from the beginning. I'll show you the mistake. If I go back to this sketch, this value should be 406, I set 604. So simply type in 406 and everything will be modified. In the coming few steps we will face a problem, but I want this problem to happen intentionally so I can show you the solution. For now select this cone and select this part then hide. Let's start a new sketch here, then draw a central line from this point up to here, make sure it's horizontal, then draw another central line and snap to this point and to any point here and then set this length to be sorry control z let's set this length to be 215 and now select a three point arc snap to this point here and snap to this one here and then place it somewhere here set it to be tangent to this line and here we have this arc. Now, as we did in this practice before, we need to extend this a little bit. Then set these to be tangent. And then set them to be equal. Once done, finish the sketch. Let's show the hidden bodies. Most importantly, this one. Now, make sure to select the last sketch, then from the sheet metal tab, select base flange. We need this to be 4 millimeters, so it's correct. Then, select up to surface, and I will select this one. But now, if you try to finish this command, you will have this message. The end phase cannot terminate the extrude feature. The reason of this problem is this extra part here. Because when we say up to surface, so there's no surface here to meet this part of the sketch. Now to solve this problem, we need to cancel this and start a sketch on the front. And from here, let's select hidden lines visible, pick a line, snap to this point and draw a line. Select the line, hold control, select this one, and make them collinear. And make sure to draw a central line here. Finish the sketch. Go back to shaded with edges. And now, right click and activate the surfaces. And from here, select revolved surface. Once done, hit OK. Now, since we have this surface, we can create the base flange feature correctly. So select this sketch, then base flange, up to surface, and this time select this one. Let's double check the direction of the thickness.
we need to flip the direction of the thickness. Now hit OK and hide this surface. So this is a good example on using the basics of surfaces with solid modeling features. Now let's create the cuts we need here and here. Before doing so, show this body. And now select this face and the starter sketch. Then draw a circle here and snap to this point for example. If it doesn't work, simply select this edge and this circle and make radial. Then convert entities, rotate the view and select this edge. Once done, finish the sketch and from here select extruded cut. Select through all both and flip side to cut and then and from the feature scope, remove this option and select only this body. Now hit OK and here's the result. Now we can select the last flat pattern and unsuppress it. And this is how we can flatten this body and deal with it separately. Exit this command. And the last thing is that we need to go to circular pattern. For direction 1, select this surface for example, and for the bodies, select this one, and set this number to 12, then hit OK. Now in addition to the multi-body technique, we only use the sheet metal features here. So now we can deal with each element of this model separately, like the first one is the base, the second one is this cone, the third one is this part and the fourth one is this one and the rest of these parts. So this is a real life example in using sheet metal features in designing parts. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.